Welcome to the Process Podcast. From new agent to broker owner. My name is Travis Lenore. This is my co-host, Preston Guyton. Welcome to the Process Podcast. This is Travis McClure, my co-host, Preston Guyton. Preston, how are you doing today? Good, man. Good. Put some miles in this morning. Yeah. So get many, the miles in. How many miles did you get this morning, Preston? I uh, did five slow fat run. <laughs> is that uh, slow fast? What was that? Slow fat. <laughs> fat man, slow run. Okay. Um, And then another mile of walk, so over right. six miles. I think we're, we're 11 weeks from our half marathon. Yeah, so I ran five today. I ran eight on Sunday, I think. Nice. Yeah. All right. Still realizing I need to lose some weight, but I'll get there. Yeah. Well, running will do it. Running will do it for sure. Um, Let's talk about a hot button topic today, Preston. A lot of agents in the market, you know, we did an episode on recession talk last week, um, but a lot of agents are talking about, and companies are talking about lead generation for a lot of different reasons. We're not just talking prospecting today. We're talking about generating leads. Let's get into that a little bit, Preston. What are your thoughts around what has happened over the last couple of months in terms of lead generation? Yeah, I mean, when you look at it from the standpoint of like bigger, you know, lead gen sources like Zillow, Realtor.com, you know, the volume of those leads and not only the leads, but, you know, they canceled iBuyer, which affected a ton of real estate companies, you know, more so on the West Coast, I think. Um, but, you know, then you have all the other lead gen, like where they send you leads and everything else. And I've spoken to a lot of teams, a lot of realtors across the country. And, you know, the, the same thing they're saying, hearing in, you know, more so in some mar in other markets, you know, some more than others. Um, but the, the decrease in lead, one of the teams I spoke to, I think in March, they had 425 leads coming through Zillow. Oh, wow. And then in uh, June or it was either May or June, they had 150. You know, so if you look at a business that has built their business on on needing leads from Zillow or needing leads from Realtor.com, you know, those those businesses are starting to struggle. What What's causing Zillow or Realtor to obviously invest less? I, I get there's less traffic, right? But what's causing, they're also investing less in generating those leads. Is that true also? Yeah, I mean, I think you're seeing less people online shopping, you know, maybe you're having more agents going to Zillow trying to buy leads now. Um, so I think it's a lot of things. And obviously as the market slows down, they don't have an in infinite amount of money. You know what I mean? So when they, they still do pay-per-click and they st still spend money there, they're obviously going to decrease that. So you have more agents, I think, looking for leads and Zillow is getting less leads as well. Okay. So this is where, people are reaching out to you because you have a lead generation system that you pretty much control the spend and, and control the flow. Right. So what's different about what you do versus what we do here and what you're teaching people to do versus say, just buying Zillow leads or buying realtor.com or another marketing company's leads. Yeah. I mean, one of the things we built here two years ago, I started building out easy home search and uh, you know, through pay-per-click and through SEO and through organic traffic, you know, we've grown that site and, you know, we're able to generate a ton of leads. I mean, you know, through organic and through, through pay-per-click, we, I think over the last 90 days, we've generated about 13, actually, no, 16,859 leads. I think the number was, um, you know, over a 90 day period. And you look at the amount we spent on those leads and I looked at it, you know, for for the uh, talk with John yesterday, that if we were paying for Zillow or Realtor.com, we would have generated about 780 leads. For the same cost? Same cost. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of what we get are organic. Like, we don't force registration on organic. So, you know, whenever somebody organ organically, if you don't know what that means, it means they come to your site looking in Google or wherever, and your site's ranked at a position and they click on it. So it's not a pay-per-click lead. So it's it's something you do by building content and building pages out. But, you know, those are the people that raise, like we don't force registration. So when they inquire, a lot of times it's a showing request, a property inquiry. So those people are raising their hand, you know, and, right. and that's why when you see those organic leads come in that are requesting information, I mean, those are gold. So essentially you're controlling the, the cost and the flow of leads, leads coming into the company. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So you're instead of like 
if I was an owner buying Realtor or Zillow leads, it's almost like I'm strapped to the bumper of the bus. You're you're teaching a system where now you could be the driver of the bus and really controlling the flow of lead generation that's coming into your company. Um, so recently, yesterday on a on a Zoom with John Chaplack and and uh, a lot of people in, in following his coaching, you announced a a six week class that you're going to be teaching this, correct? Yeah, so we're doing a six weeks class with John, um, and a, you know a lot of a lot of the people in his elite group will be in there as well. But we're going into, you know, one hour a week for six weeks. It's also going to open up a, a private Facebook group where they'll go in there. They'll ask me questions. We'll go over the things that they need to know that they need to build out and all that. But it's not only, you know, the first three through three days or the first three weeks, we're going to go over pay per click. You know, what campaigns to set up things you need to look for and, and and set it up where the owners manage their account. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when you, well, majority of the time when you hire a pay-per-click company, they manage your account within their own account. And so say you cancel, you never get that information. So, you know, when you build it out in your own account, Google has people that are there to help you grow your business and grow your account because obviously they want to see you convert more leads because you'll right. spend more money. And, you know, that's something you don't see when you hire somebody else to do it. They get all those phone calls. Plus so, there's a, there's a middleman fee there as well. Yeah. I mean, majority of them charge anywhere from 20 to 30% of your account size after a certain dollar amount. So say it's, they charge 500 bucks to 5,000. Then above that amount, it's 30% or 20% of total account. So this class that you're teaching, um, the six week class, and we'll go over like what the six weeks look like but i think what's what's cool if you're a, a team leader or you're a broker owner and you listen to this you know like man that sounds really overwhelming i don't want to run my own website i don't want to run my own lead generation good thing about a class like this it teaches you not only how to do it if you want to if you want to do the mechanical the systematic part of doing it like preston does day in and day out but even if you do outsource it it makes you more educated in terms of how to manage it is that right yeah, I mean the good, you know, one of the things we're gonna, we're going to dive in. Like I use SEM Rush, uh, you know. There's other ones, Ahrefs, Moz, that that are softwares that you run to check SEO and check, you know, paid ads and everything else. So that's one thing we're going to do in this class is dig into my SEM Rush account, and you'll be able to see what I do on a daily basis. That if you do this class, you'll understand it enough to where if you hire somebody else, you could check back and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, because that's really, you know, if it is overwhelming, and that's that that'll be the great part of it is you'll understand it enough to where you'll be able to log in and say, okay, this is how many pages they created this month, this is how many backlinks came in, you know, this is how much content was created. So I'm going to teach everybody how to look at those things. So if they do hire somebody, they understand what they're getting. And it's not just a, a how to do this and a how to do that and marketing. It's it's a system, right? Yeah. You're teaching a system of lead generation. That could be applied to your company. Um, talk about the six weeks. So if someone signs up for this class, weeks one through six, what what does that, I guess, course syllabus look like? Yeah. So week one, we're going to go into talking about pay per click, setting up an account. You know the things that you need to set up as far as the type of campaigns. We'll go into discovery. We'll go into text ads. We'll go into retargeting, and then we'll go into Google Performance Max just kind of an overview. And then the next week we're going to create a discovery, a, a campaign, and then create a retargeting campaign and text campaign. And then the third week, we're going to jump into Google performance max, which is just released by Google in November of last year. And that's where we're seeing the greatest benefit is those type of ads and those type of campaigns. So each week people come in the class, you're teaching them step-by-step step how to build this system. They leave with stuff to like take action on. And the cool part is they'll have a private face group, Facebook group that they can share ideas with, share things they're working on, ask questions, and you'll be, you'll interact with people in that group as well. Yeah. So we're going to do the, you know, we're going to set up, we've already set up the Facebook group, private Facebook group. So we'll have, we'll have people in there and, and I'll probably go in, go over weekly like content ideas, you know, answer any questions they have, you know, things like that. So that'll be a, a group that's there forever. You know, so that right. group is not shutting down after the class. It's continuing to go on. Um, you know, we'll add more. We'll do this class again, and then we'll add more to the group. So the whole idea is to build a network 
within, you know, this Facebook group that everybody's doing the same things and, you know, hopefully learning to, you know, grow, grow their lead gen business because for a long time, you know, realtors were realtors, brokerages, a lot of them never learned a lot of this stuff. So they were, you know, easy targets for marketing companies looking to take advantage of somebody. I think the thing that's essential about like a group like that that you talk about and on conversations we've had this, a lot of this for me in my real estate career is new until I met and started working with you. You've taught me a lot of the terms and and things like that. Um, but what you've told me in conversations we've had, it, it's evolved quite a bit over time. Like what it was 10 years ago or even five years ago, it's much different than it is now, right? In terms of the lead generation. Yeah. I mean, it always changes, you know, it's, you know, Google always updates their algorithms to, you know, people tr trying to find people that are cheating, right? And what we're teaching is is not, I mean, it's what Google is looking for. You know, we create good content, we create pages, you know, every, you know, with easy home search, the idea is to search, educate, connect. And, you know, that's what we're doing. We're allowing people to search, we're educating throughout the process and connecting when they ask to be connected. And that's the same thing with any site. Like you, you know, you need to focus on educating the people. And it's not only the the lead gen, right? So once you get the leads coming in, then you got to figure out what to do with them. You know, mm -hmm. so the part of that is the system on, you know, does it, do you have ISAs? Do you have agents to make calls? But also staying in front of those leads on a weekly basis, twice a week, three times a week through email newsletters and things like that. But when you think about any email newsletter, don't just send new listing, new listing, new listing. I mean, send content that educates them, sends it back to your site. And that's what we do with the blogs, right? So we, we research news and everything else. We create blogs that people want to come back and read. And that's, that's the idea. If you're trying to get information, I mean, all of these, all the, all the podcasts we do get get put on Easy Home Search. Right. Um, you know, we do content on cities across both in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, you know, attractions, just different things that get people to come back. And then, you know, then they explore further into your website. So the first three weeks of class really all focused around Google, pay-per-click, and then the back half of the class three weeks, a lot of it is around SEO, which stands for what? Search engine optimization. That's right. Look right. And and ha yeah, look at me. <laughs> so, and how to basically drive organic traffic and continue traffic to your site. Right. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that's, um, yeah, the fourth day. So we're going to go into, you know, kind of an overview of SEO, things to do, things to look for. Thanks to that. And again, this is not an attempt to, because there's going to be people, whether it's an, this is works for individual agents, right? So an mm -hmm. individual agent can get one of the people I'm talking to now for the class is an individual agent in San Francisco. Right. And talking to him through, this could be, this is what, I, this is where I started. You know I mean? This is what I focused on when I was an individual agent and it could just give you leverage in your business. So, you know, day four, we'll go into SEO, kind of the overview of that what we're going to go into in day five and six, you know, day five, we're going to go into page creation, interlinking site structure. And then day six, we're going to go into blogs, um, you know, how to write a blog content outlines, where to find people to write the blogs. Cause obviously we create a ton of content on easy home search about 40 to 60,000 words a month. I'm not writing all that. Right. There's right. no way I could even do that. So we have, you know, freelance people, people that are writing content for us, then I go in and check, make sure it's it's written in a way that, you know, is SEO friendly and those are posted. And, and um, but we do about 20, 20 blogs a month. And I think for somebody like you, and there's, other, and there's agents out there too. I know I've met them that they're passionate about this type of stuff. And there's agents out there spending a, or they were spending. Now they're hard to get a lot of money on leads every single month to me you know, like one of the reasons that like attracted me to this company and, and to work with you was it just seems like a, a much better return on investment. If you're going to invest money, right. To, to get in front of people and, and generate those leads and create a pipeline for yourself, your agents, your team, whatever that looks like, why not be in control? Not Why not be in the, in the driver's seat and get the most return on that investment that you can. Yeah. And you're building an asset, this value, right? So we right. generated, you know, through organic traffic, direct traffic, we had over 160,000 visitors last month. Mm -hmm. You know, then you throw in pay per click, we have another 50,000 roughly. Um, you know, so 215,000 people visited our site last month, 987,000 page views. 
300,000 views of property details, meaning they clicked on a property, saw the advanced details and all that on the property. So you look at a standpoint of monetization where, you know, you have all these vendors, lenders really don't have a way to get in front of that many people because you yeah. can't, you know, I'm not going to sign up to get rates. Like, what are you going to sign up for? Mm. You know, so you have all these companies, whether it's attorneys, you know, mortgage professionals, lenders that would love to get up, you know, be seen on your site when you're creating that much traffic. So, you know, you get it to a point to where it's an asset that brings in money that then helps you build it out further. And that's, you know, part of the, we're in the process of doing a, starting a custom site and that's going to help fund it because, you know, anytime you go into the custom realm, it's, you know, 10 X as far as expense. Right. Expense. And then also return as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, as far as the build out, right. So the, the every month, as far as keeping up with it isn't, but the initial build out is very expensive when you go custom route. What I think about when you say like you're creating an asset, you know, to me, any anytime you, you start a business, so if you're a broker owner, even team leaders, you, you start a business, the goal should be, you want to create a business that you can someday sell maybe, right? Yeah. If you want to retire and think about it, like real estate businesses are kind of hard a lot of times to sell. Like, what are you selling? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? But like, when you have a system, like a system that's for people, like a website that's established, that's drawn types of traffic, like easy home search, and you have, um, you know, a system in place that, hey, if you run it this way, it can continue to keep going. And now you're on the back end of it, you're building a client and customer base. That's what adds a lot of value. So if you're a broker owner, you're like, hey, someday I may want to retire and sell my business and turn this into an asset that I could retire off of. This adds a ton of value to a business if you have something like this attached to it, does it not? Yeah, it does. And you look at it like daily, I get emails from marketing people that want to buy leads from me that want to sell them to real estate agents. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'd never do that. You yeah. know, that's, and that's really a big reason why I'm doing this class, right? I mean, my love for real estate and what it's given me throughout my life, you know, say, I say this a lot and it saved my life in many ways, mm -hmm. you know, it led me to my wife, it led me to my kids, it led me to this podcast. There's so many things that I got to be, I'm thankful for. And it all was because of real estate. So, you know, that's a big reason why I'm doing this class is not, you know, it's not for the money. It's, it's to educate agents and brokers across the country to, to take back control, you know, take back control of their business. And when you look at it, yeah, it's a, it's a valuable asset. I mean, you look at a, you know, easy home search will, you know, within a couple of years, have a million sessions, sessions a month or more. Right. You know, so you look at that traffic and you just look at it. If somebody was paying for pay per click and say 200,000 sessions of those visits a month were something they'd pay for at average of 50 cents per click. I mean, that's a hundred thousand dollars you're saving that if you would have had to pay for pay per click to get. Right. And I also think Preston that, it opens a lot of doors for you as a company too. I mean, think about some of the markets that, you know, easy home search has kind of crept its way into in terms of just organically creating leads right now, you know, we've created realtor partners. We've even, we even have, you know, palms realty agents in some of these markets. Now um, it definitely gives you uh, I think like a, a footstone of like, if you're looking to grow your brokerage or grow your team, from a geographic standpoint, I think it definitely gives you a, a footprint to start with. Yeah. I mean, and even if you're not even, you know, looking to do that, it gives you, you know, if you're just in, in a city and you're okay with being in that city, yeah. you don't, you're not looking outside of that, which is, is fine, but you got to look at like, what can you write that Zillow can't, you know, they're not hyper local. They can't afford to do content in every city across the country at a right. hyper local level. Like you can as an agent, you know, just create the outlines, give it to a writer to write, post it, you know, just make that part of your daily routine or weekly routine or whatever. Um, so, you know, being able to do those things, you will capture a ton of traffic in the city you're in. Then it helps with, you know, it helps with retention. Um, it helps with recruiting. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many other aspects that it helps <laughs> with, with your business that it just makes sense. So Preston, outside of this class, you actually also, you've, have some through John, you guys are now coaching people around this system. You're coaching some broker owners and team leads. Talk about that a little bit. What's that process look like for you? Yeah. So we're doing 12 week coaching um, where we go into setting up an account. We could set it up, the set up the account for them for, a, you know, additional, whatever it is, an hour. Um, so we do that where we set up their, 
you know, if they're like, well, setting it up is over my head. So we go in and create all the videos. We go and create the pay-per-click account in their name, the AdWord account in their name, turn it over to them, and then spend a couple of weeks where we teach them how to set up all the campaigns, how to monitor the campaigns. Then we go back after six weeks or eight weeks and, and show them how to adjust them where they need to be adjusted. And then I get into SEO, but also we get into other things too, like, you know, with Palms, how we build a leadership team, how we build Asian excellence class, how we did all these things that, you know, this is the third company I've started. So it's, you know, as far as the leadership and building that team, I can get into that as well. All right. So Preston, if anybody is interested in signing up for this class or even getting a hold of you for some coaching, where would you, what, what's the best place for them to check? Uh, you know, find me on Facebook, Instagram, but also the class is cheplackleadgen.com, which that'll start August 15th is the first class. So you have two weeks. Um, again, it's cheplackleadgen.com. Yep. And we'll put that in the uh, the comments section uh, in the, yeah, and we'll put that in the description section of the podcast or YouTube uh, channel. But with that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. And we have our special guest. Our closing credits. Make sure to like and subscribe and smash that like button. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. He's right, got guys. it figured out. He does. Have a great day. See ya.